Hey, good morning. It's morning here in Buckbridge again, and people are waking up. They're getting to work doing their little things, and um, let's just see. Yeah, our hay is keeping up, which is really good, but we're looking here. I'm looking here at this because we want to get this these little temporary defenses all set up so we can pop this open and have a little bit of an attack, have a little little go with the... I'm guessing it'll be mechanoids in here, maybe it'll be insects actually, whatever. We'll see what's in there and yeah, start, start getting at them, but we gotta get that done. So uh, early in the morning, Yugi is cooking like he does, Daniel is failing at making deadfall traps it seems. Uh, horse is taming, or no, training a wild boar, so we can get some hauling done, which would be great. Jason is harvesting the heel root. Abel is taking the beer out, so he's harvesting beer. Very nice. Uh, making some metal from slag on for fry. JD's hauling, working on those turrets as well. Oompa Loompa is digging at a deep drill. And Algirdus is still sleeping. He had a late night. And Barracuda had a really late night. He was on a smoke leaf binge. He's still high on this stuff, which makes me wonder how his shooting is currently. It's actually pretty good for being stoned, to be really honest. And, uh, good, good, not great, but good. With that one done, uh, let's, yeah, that one done, this one done, we can move the battery over and then get people, well, after Barracuda eats some food so he's not starving anymore. Uh, Daniel is a major break risk for reasons. Uh, eight without a table. He's feeling bad. He has an awful bed. He does have an awful bedroom. You're not wrong, Daniel. So we'll go ahead. We'll continue this project. Uh, we're making this out of granite for you. So our granite's still pretty good. We'll continue the project of like putting in your, your little dining room area as well. And so the way that's going to work is we'll have, so the table will go right there. And then this will be your fridge type area. And then it just goes straight across and the door is kind of right across from, from, from this thing right here. So the door right there. Does that look right? That looks right. That looks right. And a couple of wood doors, we can do that. And you guys are going to sleep here. I want to see, well, not all of you. Daniel's working on making his place a little better. Which, that's cool. And, yeah, and let's see, did we get all of this done? Uh, yeah, I think we just did. I think Martin just finished up with this improvised turret here. And so, yeah, good, good range on both of those. So, in the morning, we'll go ahead and grab, I think, one of maybe these batteries, drop it up here. We should probably first, really quick, make a roof. Uh, to put it over. Solar generator. I mean, put it under. This thing's broken down. I mean, the whole point of all this is we want to get a whole bunch of components so we can make a component assembly bench uh, right in here. And that's not going to happen until, well, we get more components, which is why we're trying to get more components, which is why I said that in the first place. Uh, so, yeah, the hope is... Okay, yeah, that, that's fine. That, that's going to be cold in there. Um, yeah, the hope is... What's the hope? The hope is we can keep things together. That's the hope. It's pretty cold in all these rooms, which that'll have to get sorted out. We do have this power. It's up and running. It's right now only connecting to here. We can also do separate things down around here. Oh, a raid. Okay. Pirates are going to arrive in drop pods, and they're going to use sappers, little jerks. So actually, let's get, well, let's, let's see. I do have an insanity lance, and is, every, is everybody weaponed up? Except for JD. JD doesn't do that kind of thing. I wonder, would, would JD, would he be willing to use, like, yeah, it looks like he will activate this. Um, yeah. And, yeah, okay. Let, let me, let me think for half a second. Okay, let's do this. Let's have, 
all of our fighters right off the bat we'll have them all run to around here or so we don't yet know what their plan is going to be but if they only have one sapper in the group which it's going they're going to land they're going to land way down here as well all right if there's only one actual sapper in the group then just by insanitying them, we might inspire everyone else to come here. So JD, you come to the insanity lads, activate it for the the person who's the sapper and who was that? Now I gotta find oh it's right here. It was with the Molotovs, right? Right. Ollie with the Molotovs is our sapper. So again, JD. Activate. Ollie is the target. All right, and now everybody else get to your station. Speed it up a little bit till JD gets close. Okay. Now, let's see what happens. Yep. Th there it goes. Uh, where's Ollie? Nice, I like the look of that. Little bit, okay. So this might have been the other sapper, but is not now, okay. And, um, and now Ollie is down as well. And I think that means everybody who's left is gonna be a non-sapper sort of person. So I like, I like that. That makes that makes life a lot easier, to be honest. So now we can just get you guys. Oh, uh, Ronan, Roman, sorry. I don't want you. Nobody should be following while the master's drafted. That's just not a good idea, like ever. Okay, now this is easy. Anyone? Is anyone doing sappery stuff? Uh, moving. Melee attacking a battery, moving, solar generator, wind turbine, power switch, deep drill, and moving. So yeah, I think now they're all gonna come through here. So let's get everybody into some sort of position. Daniel, oh, I was gonna put a door over here and I never did, dang it. Well, Daniel, you just have to come back to here. Fry, Jason, Algirdas, Abel, Barracuda, is that everybody? No, Yugi and horse. All right, that should that should work, you guys. Unless you do something really funky that I'm not anticipating, um, that should that should do just fine. Okay, hold it. What are you doing? Limestone wall. So you are going for that. All right. Well, that's your prerogative. No one else is going to join you. I never did get my trap sorted out down here, but he can be the first to die, that's fine. With his assault rifle, he's not even shooting, he's just running, it. he's charging at us. Wow, and he just won't die! His go juice, I guess. Is... Alright, Daniel, now it's your turn to get over here. Alright, good. Anyone who gets this far gets to... Oh, no, 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 guys! Oh, for Pete's sake. Um... No, you guys... Fire down. Otherwise, like, Fry just got... Yeah, some crossfire. So, everybody... Can't hit, then... You just hold your fire. For now. Yugi... You hold your fire. Hold it, hold it. Although Yugi, no, you can fire at him. Barracuda, you too. He's out of range, so hold your fire. Abel. 
fire at him as well. All right, uh, he's just moving. Oh, for Pete freaking sake, I never turned the turrets on. Oh, shoot. That's my problem. And now they're fleeing. Okay, what happened? So Daniel, you've just got one gunshot. Uh, f so let's give you, where are you, man? Daniel, let's give you, let's give you some, yeah, herbal medicine, I think. Fry gives you some herbal medicine and horse. You don't need medicine. You're okay, man. And everybody stand down. Ah, can't believe I forgot to turn the freaking batteries on even. All right. And hopefully this stuff, well, yeah, this stuff we haul urgently and... Then if any of it's good enough, it gets put right here and it kind of filters it automatically for us. Um, Bishop is running away. Did, yeah, he never did break down this wall, which is nice. Maybe he was attacking over here. I don't know. Um, major break risk in Fry. Why is that? Saw some corpses. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting that your, your mom died, but there's still some time left on that. So... I guess I should get you guys all patched up before I go and attack this. That's annoying. That was my project for today, was attacking that. And now we've got other issues to deal with first. Also, way down here, there was... Look okay, this fire is burning. It looks like whoever was downed has been burned up by now or is gone somehow or another. So, I mean, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Gentle Snow might put that fire out. I'm not too worried either way. It's going to be blocked by the river. And everybody's a little bit unhappy. I understand. I, I, I understand that. So another now, since we're not doing this right away, uh, we need to get patched up a little bit better. I am going to go ahead. I got an idea that I think is, or it's mentioned something I think is actually exactly right, which is we should just deconstruct these doors here. And I guess we didn't really need the vent then, but whatever. Because, and it'll be like one, it'll be one room as far as we're concerned, but it'll help with this space uh, to make this into like a um, bigger and therefore nicer room. I also think we want to come to the furniture. We want to put in a granite plant pot. Where's granite? There it is. So right there. All right. Everyone's fully healed except for Fry. He's doing pretty well too. So maybe in the morning we'll go ahead and, and uh, get him kind of sorted out. Uh, normal assault rifle at 97. That should get urgently hauled too. Probably. Uh, oops. Uh, that should as well. And I should get Jason uh, as a one for hauling. Because basically Jason and Daniel are the only people who can like move the bodies without getting really upset. So we want them to be able to do that as well. Martin, your repair and stuff. I still can't believe I didn't, didn't turn on the power. Ah, I'm an idiot. But you knew that. If you're watching, if you've been watching this long, you knew that I'm an idiot. Also, someone said they're correct. A little more animal sleeping spots. We'll put them here. Yeah, in that kind of area there. And I don't know why that eel skin is just not getting hauled. Oh, I bet there's no place configured to store it. Is that what's going on? Let me just check. So, um... Yeah, eel skin has nowhere to be stored. Uh, we want to be able to be in there. Let's just... Are there any other skins? No, that's it. And also eel meat, I bet, is not configured to be stored in here. Like, all the fish meat was. But, yeah, eel corpse should go in here. Eel skin. 
Oh, you know, meat should go in here. That That is on, so that's kind of weird. Uh, so I'll check the animal corpses. I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, that should be in there. Uh, that should be in there. That should be in there. Yeah, really. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird that it seemed like when the... I guess just when the, the mod updated or whatever, it just didn't... I don't know. Didn't didn't do this. Uh, I should make sure all those, like the, yeah, pufferfish meat, rhinoceros meat, jellyfish meat. Okay. All right. Well, that's that. Now everyone is a wild boar is given birth, so we should make sure the wild boar is. I don't see the baby wild boar here, or maybe it is automatically. Yeah, there it is. It is automatically in the same area. That's kind of handy. That seems like smart. So now let's go ahead, let's uh, reinstall this battery right here. And let's get... JD, are you a fast walker? No, is anybody a fast walker? Or a jogger? Okay, Barracuda is a jogger. Poor manipulation, everything else is good. So, everybody, let's see. No, JD, I want you to do this. Daniel, I'm going to let you sit this out anyway. Let's bring all you guys up here. This might be a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. But I'm doing it anyway. Now is the time. And then Barracuda, you I'm going to bring to down here. Oh, Daniel's healed, so I will bring him up. But I'm going to keep him kind of out of the way. All right. Now, everybody here, except for JD, I think so. So, let's see. People with shotguns. That's not a shotgun. That's a shotgun. Okay, you're going to have to be a little close. Yeah, okay. You're good. Uh, you know, you'll actually do a little better. Well... You'll be fine, I think. Let's see. Let's get my assault rifles up here. Right away. Uh, what's your range? I think if you're right here, you should have that as well. Nope. So, Algirdus, you come to here. There we are. To here as well. Horse, you'll be fine right there. Fry, you'll be fine right there. Okay. You're good. Martin, where are you going? You come right there. All right. And Bar oh, Barracuda, you got a shotgun as well. Maybe I'll put you over here, actually. All right, deconstruct that slate wall. Area root. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is um, both amazingly good and like a super anti-climax. I was, oh man. All right, let's uh, open these as well. Let's start with the close one. Let's see, and get ready to, oh man, get ready to run. Okay, yeah, Barracuda, you, you run to here. And don't get hit by that as you go past. Dang it. Okay, what? Chain shotgun. Okay. And Vladimir here. He's down with a gunshot. Okay, now. Yeah, you're going to come out. Good, good, good. Is is Vladimir throwing up while downed? That's, that's an interesting choice. All right, and uh, Blue Drifter is downed as well. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and capture Vladimir here. Well, Barracuda, what's your what's your situation? Um, you need you're in no immediate danger, but you do need tending. So that's fine. Any empty rooms around here? Not really. Let's put horse in here. I could put Algirdus in here temporarily. 
Now, is Vladimir someone I want to recruit? I don't think so, even with the 13 social. Can't do dumb labor or crafting. That doesn't work for me. But I am gonna, I think, capture him briefly. Oh, I meant to, after I moved it, I meant to um, turn this into a uh, prisoner bed. And then we're gonna capture uh, pri well, Algirdus is... Algirdus, you capture him. And now let's go ahead, let's reinstall this. Actually, we'll reinstall it there, and then what we'll do is we'll build another one right behind it. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll deconst... Wait. Was that one never opened? That seems weird. It will deconstruct those. I was really, I'm not going to lie, I was really hoping that we were going to get some, uh, there was that there was going to be some, whatchamacallits, uh, 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 mechanoids in there. And that the mechanoids, you know, because then we could like deconstruct them and we could get a bunch of components. I don't know if we're going to get any components for deconstructing the, 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 the the caskets or whatever but anyway we'll, we'll find out um an excellent chain shotgun let's definitely get get that and let's in fact algirdus i have never actually looked at a chain shotgun before what what are its stats the accuracy is not good even for one that is excellent uh but 20 damage a shortish warm-up and eh, cool down um, range of 10 and three bursts. So I'm not sure how that compares to the SMG, uh, although it's a poor SMG. Much better, still three shots, 13 damage, shorter warm up, uh, I think a longer cooldown. I'm not sure actually which one I think is better. So, well, anyway, we'll, we'll get it moved priority. Uh, these for sure they came in really really handy uh, well the, the it was the insanity but the shock lance will do just as well and I guess we'll uh, unforbid no it was unforbidden unforbid the gold and I think we can also go ahead now and deconstruct these things I don't want to de deconstruct the turrets because I'm moving them over you know but I can deconstruct the wire and stuff like that. And let's just see. Um, Martin's moving that. That's good. I probably actually should make... I am going to do this. I'm going to make some shelves. Maybe in the dining room just because it's easy to get to. Make some shelves for the insanity lance and stuff like that. And this might be... I mean, yeah, this might be full, so we'll make some more over here as well. Do the same thing with. And Jason, is Jason Hall in bodies now? Yep, yep, doing doing the psychopath's job. All right. Uh, this is, okay, Oompa Loompa's room at this point is, it's decent, even with this kind of ugly, ugly floor there. We could, oh, who's the major break risk? Abel. Abel. Saw some corpses, kind of a grouchy guy, breaks easily. Okay, now the other thing I want to check. So now that we've got, whoa, where'd that plasteel come from? Was that in Vladimir's pocket? Anyway, health. What I want to know is what can we harvest? His left lung, his right lung, his kidneys. We cannot harvest any eyes from him. So that's unfortunate. So we're just going to now prisoner. He would be actually an easy con conversion. So maybe we'll just give it a try. I mean, I don't like that he can't do dumb labor or crafting. The 13 social is really, really good. I think we don't really have anybody who's uh, really good at social. Yeah, JD's are best at a mere eight. I don't like that he can't do dumb labor or crafting, and he's not great. He could do the animals, I get, although it's pretty low. But we could have him doing the animals. If we got him, I don't know what we'd do with him. 
that's the thing that's kind of bugging me. I guess we could just put him on mining and make him mine or something. He he's oh he's greedy as well. Yeah, even though he, even though I really really like the social, I think most of the time I don't know what I would be doing with him. And he's greedy. He's gonna be a pain to try to get him. Like he's he's gonna be always grouchy. Uh, he also is gonna be grouchy because he didn't have a bionic part. So I think I'm not. I think I'm gonna just release him. Like, I would like someone who's good as social, but I'd like to wait. Like, if I'm going to actually try to get someone good as social, I want to wait until they're a bit more... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like, it's a bit more kind of integrated in the, the whole character that they have. And it's not just, like, social and nothing else, which is what this guy is. All right. So we got uranium. Not a lot. Steel. Okay. And no components. Dang it. And uh, Gather is passing by. We can ignore him. Well, that was, I mean, on the one hand, that was anticlimactic, and I would have liked to have seen um, a much more exciting thing happen. Uh, there, on the other hand, I mean, we opened it up anyway. A local raccoon's gone mad. I'm not too worried about it. He's just going to wander around all on his own. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to stress about him. But that, I think, is all the time that I have for today. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.